All right guys, so today's video is going to be about the lab radar and specifically how to set up your lab radar so that it will register and read 22 long rifle. All right, so first thing we need to do, um, discuss positioning on this, right? Now, typically you would set up your lab radar um, off to the side of your barrel, say eight to 10, 12 inches, something like that, whatever you have it set to. You'd set it beside and then kind of back behind the muzzle blast uh, of the muzzle. But for 22 long rifle, that doesn't help us really. Uh, these things had very little muzzle blast very little of anything else coming out of the end obviously um, and so what we want to do is actually set the lab radar out in front of the muzzle don't don't shoot your lab radar i don't mean set the lab radar directly in front of your muzzle i mean offset it just a little bit a couple of inches three four inches off to the side but actually out in front of your muzzle uh, a few inches two to three inches and again, guys, this isn't technical specs that I've received from Lab Radar and how to do this. This has just been trial and error, trying to figure out how to get my Lab Radar to pick up 22 long rifle. It obviously picks up um, handgun by itself just fine, and it picks up center fire rifle just fine. But sometimes 22 long rifle finds itself in this strange Midlands. And so um, what we need to do is set it up first, and then uh, we need to go into our settings. So in order to do that, you hit this button right up here, top left. And we're going to go down to the velocity range. And you've got rifle, handgun, and archery. Normally we're set to rifle, right? Well, the range for rifle on these things is from about 1,000 feet per second and up. Handgun is from about 250 feet per second on up to about 1700 feet per second and that's a better range for the 22 long rifle so you're going to go into select velocity range and switch it to handgun and make sure handgun is selected now what you're going to do is you're going to want to just verify and make sure your projectile offset is set to six inches typically that's in the 12 or 18 inches range for most people using center fire rifles switch it to six inches for your projectile offset and then you want to go down to your um, trigger source and your trigger level. Trigger source needs to be set on trigger. Trigger level needs to be set on level one, which is the most powerful, right? Now, that's it. If you've got it set up correctly like that, you've got your barrel uh, offset three to four inches to the side of the lab radar and out in front of your muzzle a couple of inches, again, do not shoot your lab radar, okay? There shouldn't be much recoil or jump with the 22 long rifle anyway, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. If one of you boneheads shoots your lab radar, it is not the fault of Precision Rifle Network. I'm just trying to give you a quick tip here today, guys. Hopefully that helps somebody out there, um, and you should be able to now pick up 22 long rifle uh, without having the external microphone on these units. So thanks for watching guys. Tune in again soon for another great video from Precision Rifle Network.